Hello students, the next problem is on column minima method. So here we have a transportation problem which they are asking us to solve by using column minima method. In our previous video, we learnt about northwest corner rule, least cost entry method and row minima method. Where in row minima, we chose the minimum element from each row and we started to give the allocation. In a similar way, in column minima method, we have to choose the co choose column-wise minimum element and we have to give the allocation. But before doing it, we have to always check whether the given problem is balanced or unbalanced. So now here, demand, we have to take the total. So what is the total demand? It is 100 plus 150 plus 50 plus 25. So when we add this up, it is 100 plus this is 250, 300, 325. So this is the total demand. Similarly, we have to take the total of the supply. So the supply given here is 200 plus 100 plus 25. So that is equal to again 325. So the total demand is equal to the total supply. So therefore, this is a balanced transportation problem. If we find that our problem is unbalanced, then we have to balance the problem and then we have to solve it, which we will learn in our previous, I mean, uh, upcoming videos. Now here, now because the problem is balanced, now we can start making the allocation. Now the method that we are going to adopt is column minima method. So what we have to do is, first we have to consider the first column. In the first column, what is the least element? So here we have 6, 2, 8 and 5. So out of these elements, the least element is 2. So we have to make an allocation for this cell. So if you see, the corresponding demand for this cell is 150 and the supply is 200. So we have what is minimum out of these two 150 and 200 the minimum value is 150 so that we have to make as an allocation so 150 will be the allocation and after making the allocation we have to strike off the row from which we have made the allocation so after striking off this this 150 we have to subtract from the supply so 200 minus 150 and so we will be getting 50 balance here now next we have to check the first column whether any cells are left out. So if you see only one cell has got striked off. We have remaining three cells. So now we have to choose the minimum of these three values. So the least of these three is we have 6, 8 and 5 and so the least value is 5. Now we have to make an allocation for this cell. So we have to check out the demand which is 25 and the supply is 50. So out of these two values which is minimum 25 is minimum and so we have to give here 25. So after giving 25 what we have to do we have to strike out that row from which we are making an allocation. So after striking this we have to subtract that 25 from this 50 and so here remaining we will be having 25. So now again we have to check in the first column whether any cells are left out. So now here when we notice again two cells are left out. So here we have 6 and here we have 8 which is minimum out of these two. This cell is having a minimum value which is 6. Now we have to make an allocation for this cell. So when we check out here we have the demand to be 100 and the supply here is 25. So out of these two 25 is the minimum value. So that we have to make an allocation over here. So 25 we have to allocate and after making an allocation we have to strike off that column from which we have taken and made the allocation. So after striking this off this 25 we have to subtract from this 100 and here we will be having remaining value as 75. Now if you check all the cells of the first column uh, are striked off. So you could see that we have striked off this complete column. So now we have to move on to the second column. Now in the second column if you notice this cell and this cell have got already striked off. And so the left out cells are this and this. And the values are 8 and 6. 
now we have to choose the least value of these two cells so it is 6 so now we have to make an allocation for this cell so for this the demand is 50 and the supply is 100 so which is minimum out of these two 50 is minimum so that allocation we have to make here and so this will be 50 so after making that allocation we have to strike off this row from which we have made the allocation so after striking this off now we have to subtract this 50 from this 100 so 100 minus 50 is 50 which is remaining here now next if you check the second column this cell is still not uh, striked off so we have to make an allocation for this cell now if you check the demand it is 75 and the supply is 50 now which is minimum out of these two 50 is the minimum value so that we have to make an allocation over here so after allocating 50 we have to strike off strike off the corresponding column because from this only we have made the allocation so we should strike this off now what we have to do we have to subtract this 50 from this 75 so when we subtract we will be left out with 25 over here so now if you see the strike second column has also got striked off so now we have to move on to the third column and if you move on to the third column you see that the, these three cells have got already striked off so only cell left out in the third column is this and so we have to make an allocation for this cell so if you see here the demand is 25 and the supply is also 25 so it is a feasible solution so now uh, so we have to make the allocation as 25 and we have to strike off the corresponding row as well as the column so this column we have striked off and this row also we should strike off so now if you see we have made the allocation for this cell also so now we have to write the allotment table so now we shall take these allotted values and we will write in the allotment table so it will be 25 50 25 and then 150 hyphenate and then hyphenate and here also hyphenate and here we have 50 so that will come here and then we have to hyphenate this and here we have the allocation 25 so that we have to write here and then these two are hyphenated there are no allotments now if we check so number of allocations is equal to so we have one two three four five and six so the number of allocations is six and what is m plus n negative one here m is the number of rows which is one two three four and n is columns so number of columns so one two three negative one so it will be seven minus one which is six and so the number of allocations is equal to m plus n negative 1. And so the solution is a non-degenerate basic feasible solution. And then we will calculate the total cost. So how we have to evaluate the total cost? We have to multiply the cost value of the original matrix with these allocated values. So if you see in the first it will be 6 multiplied with this 25. The cost of that cell and then plus the cost of this cell is 8 so say for example the cost of this cell is actually 8 so 8 multiplied with 50 plus 3 multiplied with 25 plus 2 multiplied with 150 plus 6 multiplied with 50 plus 5 multiplied with 25 so this is what we have to do so i have written that here so that will be equal to so now 6 multiplied with 25 is 150 plus 8 multiplied with 50 is 400 plus 3 with 25 is 75 plus 2 multiplied with 150 is 300 plus 6 multiplied with 50 is again 300 plus 5 multiplied with 25 is 125 so when we add all this we obtain 1350 units so this is the total cost incurred Hope you have understood the problem. So uh, this is the column minima method. In our next video we shall learn about Ogle's approximation method which will give the most appropriate value. Thank you.